Hello, welcome to my channel, Luminous Ascensions Tarot. If this is your first time here, welcome on in. If you are returning, thank you for tuning in. Welcome back. Nice to have everyone here. I'm going to be doing a collective read today. So it does not matter what zodiac sign you are. This is for everyone of all zodiacs. Please remember to flip and switch the roles as I do the reading. Pay attention to the message and whatever does not resonate, leave it for someone else. Do not force the situation. Do not make assumptions. Just only take what resonates with you. Flip and switch the roles as needed. So let's dive in. Let's see what we have for the collective. What's going on collectively? Okay. My protection spray real quick. We recently just got over Mercury retrograde, but we are still in post shadow. So still got to keep our energy right and get it going. I hope everyone is having an amazing Tuesday. And let's dive in for my beautiful collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines, welcome on in. Let's see what we have for the energy. Spirit guides, spirit angels, ancestors of the highest wide light. I ask you to help me channel the energy needed for my collective today. Help me see, feel, or hear anything you need for me to communicate to my collective audience as I give this reading. May you remove, block, and return back to sender. Anything that is being sent to interrupt me or disturb my reading as I give it to my collective, return back to sender tenfold and fill our energy with light, love, guidance, faith, and happiness. Oh, win or lose. So you could be trying something new or you're diving into something it's like you're ready for battle. And look at the bottom of the deck, even though I'm shuffling. Yeah, it's like you're ready for battle. You're preparing yourself for something. Whether you win or lose, you're going to go for something. You're going to go for it. But I'm getting, I'm hearing victory. So take a leap of faith and put yourself out there. Put yourself forward. I, I heard put yourself out there. So you could be actually putting yourself out there. Maybe you're a bit nervous. Maybe you're scared. But spirit wants you to do something. You could be feeling like you're getting pushed to do something. You're getting synchroni synchronicities, synchronicities and signs to do so. So take a leap of faith. Believe in yourself and know that the divine has your back. Yeah, you're being divinely guided to, to take a leap of faith on something. Oh, look, it could be to balance a union out. You could be taking a leap of faith on love. Maybe this could be a new commitment that you're going into. Be Without You is on by Mary J. Blige. Somebody could want to take a leap of faith towards someone. Yeah, share the love. Someone wants to share their love with you. They feel heartbroken without you. You could be saying two, two, two. Someone wants to come in alignment with you. Someone wants to balance a situation out with you. Someone is balancing a spiritual union out. That's beautiful. You could also go into a collaboration with this person. You both could be gifted. I'm getting that because their aura is shining within each other. And it looks like their third eye chakras are both in alignment. You both could be spiritually gifted. You could be showing someone how to balance their spirituality with practicality. Or this person could be doing it to you. Flip and switch the roles as it applies. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, spirit, talk to me. What do we have? Yeah, look. Oh my God, harmony. This could be a reconciliation six. Harmony. So somebody wants to reconcile a situation with you, or somebody wants to bring peace to a situation. Someone feels like they have harmony when they're with you. You make this person happy. This person could have a thing for your eyes. When they stare into your eyes, they just fall deeper in love with you. Person could be 22, 26. Doesn't have to be. 
Uh, someone could have Sagittarius in their chart. Yeah, someone could be moving on for something else. <clears throat> Somebody could be waiting for someone to move on from something. You could have waited for someone to move on to something, but now you're moving on because you got tired of the waiting game with someone. Same cycles. Yeah, you released someone. 13. You've released, surrendered, you're transforming. This could you could be going through a spiritual awakening right now. A transformation. Yeah, look, she ain't you is on by Chris Brown. Someone someone's realizing that someone that they were with in the past, or this could be someone that they were currently, is not where they want to be. Their heart lies with you, and you're the only one for them. Someone could have just had a situation with someone in the past, and they're realizing that that's never where they were happy at, and they're releasing that person to come into spiritual union with you. They're balancing a... A relationship. I mean, God, okay, spirit. Relationship. Like, okay. So they're coming into balance what you and them have because they feel like this is true love compared to what they had in the past or what they were dealing with in the past. All right, spirit. Let me just put this here so I can. There we go. All right, what else? Yeah, victory and success. Didn't I say that? I said it. I knew I heard it. Victory and success. So somebody's going towards victory and success. And I said, this could also be a, a collaboration. This could be a business partnership. It doesn't have to be a relationship, but I was feeling a love connection. You could actually go into business with a lover. Um, or this, this relationship here is going to be very victorious and successful. Yeah, because someone's showing someone how to balance. Or this could be the yin to your yang. I'm also getting, because I see all of this here, this gives me the energy of the magician. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Or someone's manifesting this spiritual union. Because they know that this is where they, they will get their victory and success. They know that this is where they lie. You have like fine balance, fertility. Someone could want to get someone pregnant or someone could be currently pregnant right now. New vitality, yeah. Or somebody's giving birth to a new project or working on a project, working on a business. Like I said, thank you, spirit. So we have sadness and isolation in the struggle position. Someone could have been struggling with some mental health issues for a while. Or someone's coming out of isolation someone's coming out of this they they were struggling with it for a while but they know that they're not going to get towards their victory and success unless they come out of this so someone's finding the balance to birth a project and and get their prosperity in line yeah somebody could have been struggling financially but somebody's coming out of a lack like yeah what did i thank you spirit because this had to come out Win or lose. Win or lose, you're going to fight for something. You're going to stand your ground. Like, you're going to go all in. Whether you win or lose, you are being divinely guided to do something, to take a leap of faith on something. So, Spirit's telling you to go for it. All right. Give me a few more, Spirit. Oh, my God. This is a strong energy. Okay, I'm getting a couple of downloads right now. I'm hearing Rebecca, Ashley, Heather, Hannah, Derek, Justin, Tori, Janet, Erica. Someone could be the age 36, 35. You could be seeing 10, 10, 4, 14, 8, 18. Okay. Energy is on by Carrie Hilson. You could be releasing someone right now to go towards. 
Yeah. I feel like that's another reason someone's coming out of isolation. They could be releasing something to go towards their spiritual union. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. I can't make this. This whole reading is... It's either about collaboration, partnerships, love. But something is very strong here when it comes to uniting with someone. Whether it's business, love, something. Something is about partnering up. But I'm also getting someone's finding the balance within themselves. Their divine masculine, divine feminine energy. They're starting to see the light within them. Or you're starting to open somebody's third eye to their gifts. Somebody didn't want to tap into their gifts. Somebody could have been isolating themselves away from their gifts. And I've been getting this energy a lot, even without doing reading. Um... Once somebody actually opens their third eye, once they open up, I'm hearing heart chakra too. Someone needs to do alignment, like chakra alignment. Like they need to balance their whole head to toe and get in sync with who they really are. Because someone knows, someone knows that they have gifts, but they don't want to tap into them. It's like they steer away from tapping into them, but they know that they're gifted. You could be showing this person the light. Maybe they see you in the spotlight. Maybe you could be in the spotlight. You could have a lot of people that see the light within you. Okay, yeah, this partnership could definitely bring some financial material changes. As I said, clarity of belief. Yeah, accelerated motion after some type of conflict. Or somebody could be feeling defeated. But... I'm getting an energy where like somebody was their own worst and thank you intuition someone is yeah trust trust in the okay somebody needs to trust in the in the relationship number one and someone also needs to trust either you need to trust someone that is trying to shine a light upon something like this person could be very intuitive Or your intuition is, is shining a light on something. Like you're being enlightened to something. It could be about a relationship. It could, it could be about you balancing your own energy within yourself. Trusting the divine. Taking a leap of faith, as I said from the beginning. Releasing and surrendering into balancing yourself or balancing a relationship. And seeing the light at the end of a tunnel. Yeah, someone's, okay, I'm getting, someone's getting out of a dark tunnel and they're stepping into the light. You could be getting deja vu or dreams or downloads. Something is being guided within you to pay attention to your intuition. Yeah, someone could be suffering in silence and it could be about love. This person could be far away from you. This person could have to travel. Doesn't have to be. Well deserved reward. Yeah, look at that. Someone is about to go straight towards success, victory, rewards, recognition. I'm getting I'm I'm seeing the six of wands in my head. Like I'm I'm definitely seeing that card right now, very heavy. So yeah, someone could definitely be going especially if you're intuitive and you put your gifts out there and you help others or you helping others to find the balance within them others are trusting you to show them the light to show them their pathway because you're very intuitive you're, you're helpful you could be an empath you could be clairaudient clairvoyant clairsentient claircognizant refusing to see thank you oh my gosh this is what i'm saying somebody is thank you for the clarification Thank you, because this is what I've been saying. Somebody is refusing to see the gifts within them. Somebody is not activating their third eye, even though they are gifted. It's like spirit is shining the light on someone, and they're just like, nope, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I'm not ready. I don't know if I'm ready. Or someone is refusing to balance the situation out. <clears throat> someone could be...
could be refusing to balance their feminine and masculine energy. Someone could be too much in their feminine energy or too much in their masculine energy. And someone needs to see that they have to have a balance. Yeah, the universe, solar, pre solar plexus. Someone has to have the confidence to trust the universe and allow the universe to guide them with, and be confident within themselves and listen to I'm hearing synchronicities and downloads. Someone's getting downloads about this. Yeah, it's your destiny. It's your calling. I think, oh my gosh. Yeah. This is what's going to lead you towards victory and success. Once, what did I just say? Confirmation. Confirmation. What did I say? It is your destiny to go towards success. Victory rewards recognition by doing what? Trusting what? Your third eye. Open your third eye chakra. Once you open that, yeah, someone's not standing in their power and they feel lost. Someone feels lost on their pathway. Someone doesn't know what path to take. They feel lost. They don't feel like they're in power. Someone's trying to research where their next move is, where their next step is. Someone feels stuck. But they're getting, they're getting signs of what to do. Let me see. Spirit, talk to me about what I'm seeing right here. What did I say? I split the deck and what did it say? Surrender. To do what? To get to success. Thank you. Yep. Someone needs to tap in. I'm hearing the time is now. The time is now. Or someone could be afraid to jump into a full blown commitment with someone. Someone could be scared to move in with someone. Someone could be scared to get married. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Clarify spiritual union. What's the spiritual union about here? What is the spiritual union about this? Imagination. Gratitude, judgment. Someone could have misjudged you by your gifts if you are spiritually gifted. You don't have to be spiritually gifted. Um, but somebody felt like they misjudged you and now they're they're appreciating you. They can't stop thinking of you. But somebody also needs to jump into some type of creative project. This is going to be a grand opportunity for someone. Gratitude and imagination someone has something in their in their mind that they want to put out there they want to take a leap into someone could be wanting to open a business become an entrepreneur if somebody has a creative idea that they're ready to put out there and they i feel like someone's going to take a leap of faith and it's going to lead them straight towards victory and success you, you just have to have the mindset of if i win or lose no matter what at least i put the effort out at least i did what i felt called to do uh, judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah. And that may be right on top of well-deserved reward. So because you're listening to your calling and you're going towards something that you feel called to do, you will get a reward for it. The divine will reward you for listening, for, for doing what you need to. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And I said that somebody could be leaving something behind to go towards a spiritual union. They knew that they had to leave something behind. But they're trusting in the process. This is what someone has to do. They have to trust in the process to move forward, even if it's something hard. But someone's scared to fail. That's what it is. Okay. Clarify intuition. I want to know what intuition is. Clarify intuition for me, please, Spirit. Clarify intuition. This is for the collective. This is for my collective. Okay, so we have relationship. <laughs> I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So, Spirit is 
guiding someone straight towards who they're meant to be with, who they're supposed to be with. As I said, you could be going into a relationship with someone that is intuitive, or you could be intuitive. Both of y'all could be intuitive. Maybe one is um, more advanced in their spiritual journey, their pathway, than the other. But that doesn't mean anything. Somebody could be letting their pride get in the way, or they could have in the past. What else, Spirit? What else do we have here? Freedom. I process the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah. Now I landed on top of gratitude and light. Someone's freeing themselves from something. You could have helped someone free themselves from something that kept them trapped, that kept them in sadness and isolation, that kept them in the dark. You showed them the light. Love cycle is on by money bag, yo. Someone could have been in a love cycle with someone from their past, or you could have been in a love cycle. Discipline. Acceptance. Success. Yeah, but somebody could definitely be freeing themselves. <clears throat> I'm also getting somebody could have freed themselves from somebody that was codependent on their energy. Or was always, I, I'm hearing energy harvesting. Like taking someone's energy, taking the light from this person to use it for themselves. They're freeing themselves from this now. And they're seeing that they hold a power. They hold a light within them. You could have helped this person open up that door to see what they bring to the table or who they really are. They're starting to see things in a different light. I'm getting a perspective change. Yeah, somebody's health could be on the up and up somebody could be working out more eating healthier feeling better about themselves feeling confident within themselves yeah somebody was someone here was stuck in a lack mindset in a poverty mindset in a woe is me mindset everything was just like probably negative self-talk or they had they they walked around with the reflection of what everyone else had towards them whether it was positive or negative, they walked around with that energy. And now they're having the courage to, you know, be free of anything that is keeping them refusing to see something. <clears throat> this person is grateful that you showed them the light. This person is grateful for you. It's like you, you showed this person the power that they hold within themselves. This is beautiful. I'm sorry. This is so... You gave them the courage to take a stand for themselves. And this could be mental health too. Someone's having the courage to like literally step into power and change their thinking habits, become free. I'm getting a feeling where somebody's happy now. Like somebody's like literally, yeah, look. Thank you, spirit. Growth. This person's going through growth now after a death, after a transformation. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Somebody is growing into their purpose. Somebody is in their life purpose right now as I'm giving this message. Somebody had, I'm getting an ego death. Someone literally like let the past go to go towards the future. Yeah, I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. In empathy, you could be an empath. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like this. Well, I'm gonna pull some of this over here because I haven't used these in a while. This is the deck that I made myself, so let's you could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody could have Libra in their chart. Ooh. Oh, somebody could be an imposter. Somebody could be trying to yeah, burn the stage ASAP, y'all. Oh, Lord, I have the romance of a lifetime. Give it a real chance. Ooh. Oh, my God. Is that why somebody's trying to impersonate you? <laughs> All right, what's this? Thing? Yeah, and it came out, so I'm going to leave it out. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to leave it out. 
<laughs> somebody could be sad that you have a romance of a lifetime now and they're imagine moving on from them mm. what do we have here spirit what do we have here spirit talk to me india somebody could be from india let's make another suv lord oh sorry y'all that's too many somebody could drive an suv so we have india Someone could be Indian. Someone could be from India. Someone could travel to India. So we have self-destructive narcissists. But that came in the reverse on top of imagination. Someone could have thought. Okay. Someone's changing. Someone's going through a change. Okay. Okay. Someone's definitely changing some type of behavior. They could have been used to dealing with self-destructive narcissists. They could have been used to dealing with people that self-sabotage a lot. Um, and someone's going through a change. They weren't seeing it before. Um, or somebody could have been self-sabotaging a, a creative project that they wanted to work on. They, they didn't think it was going to go far. Excuse me. But it is. It is. Somebody needs to get out of their head. Or somebody was refusing to see that somebody was trying to sabotage them. Somebody didn't want them to find balance. Oh, gosh. So, the one that fell on the floor says, forget the 3D, meet me in the 5D, baby. Somebody could be astral projecting to you. Somebody could be in your dreams. I'm getting telepathic communication. Somebody could definitely be doing telepathy. So life-changing opportunities are coming in soon. Okay, collective. This amazing. What else do we have, Spirit? Mommy or daddy issues. So somebody could have mommy or daddy issues here. Somebody could be having some issues with their mother or father right now. Or this could be a baby mom or baby daddy. I don't know why I hear that in the back of my head. So, so. Somebody could be scared you're walking away from a relationship. Divine masculine could be scared that you're going to walk away from a relationship. So, so we have third party situation, but they want you. So somebody has a third party, but they want you. Or this third party could want your person. I don't know. Take a walk in nature soon. So somebody needs to get out in nature. Favorite song is on by Tusi. I hope I said that right. So surrender this connection already. There's a connection that somebody needs to surrender. It could be a third party situation. It could be someone that has mommy or daddy issues. Yeah, because there's a romance of a lifetime that's here. And this person needs to give their all to this situation. You are your person. So somebody needs to be released. Somebody needs to let somebody go from the past. Okay, so embrace all good things when moving forward in love cycle. Didn't I say, I just said the song had came out and the card came out. Love cycle. Somebody was stuck in love cycles for a while. And now it's time to embrace all good things when moving forward. It's time to move forward and release this past situation. This is not meant for you. Sprinkle joy over yourself today. You deserve it. Of course, my collective. Sprinkle love, joy, happiness, strength, faith. Sprinkle it all on you because you deserve it. And look, I just saw, look what I just saw. Telepathic communication. I told y'all and look what song came off. Missed you by the weekend. So someone misses you. Someone's still thinking of you. What happens in the dark always comes to the light. So there could be somebody's secrets are coming out. Something could be coming out about someone that misses you. Someone could be expressing that they miss you. Or you could be dreaming about someone and then the next day you're going to hear that song. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to be confirmation. Okay. Oh, thick in all the right places. That could be used divine feminine. 
or divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Someone slept with the best friend. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Secrets are being exposed. So someone slept with a best friend. I, don't, I, mean, I guess. Trust the process. I constantly put myself in painful and emotional karma. So I'm getting toxicity. Someone's always in some toxic bullshit. Lord, addicted to you sexually. Okay. Out of this world connection, amazing chemistry. So there's someone you have amazing chemistry with. And then there's someone. Okay, I'm getting like. I'm feeling two strong energies. It could possibly be three, but I'm getting two very strong. Where I'm getting someone that comes in your energy to play around with you that you had love cycles with. This is a third party situation. This person's addicted to you sexually. This person could be affecting your dreams that night. And it's because they know that you have a romance of a lifetime coming in. They know that you have an amazing connection with someone else and they're mad. Yep. Thank you. And you know what? Thank you, Spirit, because I needed to hear that right now as I gave that message. So it says your intuition is always on point. Follow it proudly. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation of what I just needed to know because that's what I'm feeling. So I already said that. What's this? Ever since I met you, I feel my life has been blessed. Yeah. Like I said, you could have helped someone open their, their third eye or they're beginning to open up to their spiritual journey. They're beginning to see their power within them, who they are, where they're meant to be. It doesn't have to be a romantic connection. You could just literally be helping people if you are spiritually gifted whether you're a therapist, a counselor, a teacher, a spiritualist, you do tarot, you do rituals, whatever you do to help others find their pathway, you shine the light upon some things where you're helping guide other people to where their pathway is. So that's good. So I got clean shave and universe giving you multiple signs you need to pay close attention. Thank you. I said this when I saw this. Someone's getting a lot of signs that they need to step up and do something. All right. Um, let me see. I'm doing this a little different today. I decided to use a bunch of different little decks and everything to see. I'm trying to get as much clarity as I can by different decks. So let's see what we do. <clears throat> questions is on by Chris Brown. Somebody could have some questions for you. Okay, somebody could propose or somebody's getting married. This could be you or someone else around you. Confirmation, responsible. Yes, yeah, somebody's definitely want to marry you. They see you as marriage material. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Unconditional love, pure beloved. You guys could have started off as friends. Someone could have met their friends. Someone could do real estate. Doesn't have to be. Someone could be buying a home or selling a home. Oh, someone could be pregnant. I just saw this little sonogram picture right here. Someone could be pregnant. Okay. Or someone could want you to have a child with them. All right. You is on by Jacquees. Memory. Remembrance. Reunion. Someone can't stop thinking about you. Someone's having memories of you. Someone was refusing to see your worth. Someone was refusing to balance the situation out with you. And now all they have is memories of you as you move forward to admit that. Okay, thank you, Spirit. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Now they're mad because they're stuck. I feel like this person is definitely stuck. What did I say? Thank you for the... Oh, I love it. Thank you, Spirit. My squad is so... 
my squat is phenomenal. But what did I say? Someone's overworking themselves. Someone could be having trouble sleeping at night. Someone's enraged. Someone's like trying to fight against everything that you're doing right now because you're going towards what? I said someone could be getting married. As I said. So someone's pissed. Someone's not happy about this. But let's see. What do we have here? Or someone could just be going into a long-term commitment that will lead towards marriage. So friendship. It could be friends that are mad. Maybe you release some friends. Someone could be meeting new friends. In a triumph. I'm also getting an energy. I'm sorry to say this, but there could be friends from your past that are jealous that you are going towards victory and success. That you're getting rewards and recognition that you are well deserved. That you are in a happy relationship. That you could be getting married. It's like someone wants you to live in the past. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Someone wants you to live in the past. Like they keep, yeah. Someone wants to stop you because they want to steal your happiness or they want to steal from you. You're not trying to hear this shit though. Yeah, someone's trying to stop your blessings. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, someone's trying to curse you because they don't want you to have a happy family. What the? Thank you. Or this could be a family trying to curse someone's happiness, someone's relationship. This could be family members trying to do this, put a hex or a curse on someone's relationship or their happiness. Like, get the fuck out of here. Or someone's just happy because now you're stable. Now you have a foundation. You're, you, you have everything that you want and need. You're, you're, you're overloaded with love. You're in the happiest position you've been in in a while. And now someone wants to come hex and curse this shit because they're hating. You need to sage. You need to cleanse your energy, your space. This is some bullshit. Yeah, because somebody could have want to had you on a puppet strings. I'm also getting, as I said earlier, when I saw mommy and daddy issues, this could, like I said, this could be a baby mama or a baby daddy that's trying to, like, control somebody. And they're using kids as a pawn to do so. Like, they, they want you to give to them. But you already are in a, a stable foundation elsewhere. Like you can have a kid with someone or kids with someone. And they want you to give to them as much as you give to where you are right now in your relationship. And this is causing a lot of confusion and everything. Somebody could have a thing with people pleasing. They want to make everybody happy. They feel like they're shuffling a lot. They're juggling a lot. But the divine is going to bless you. There's a blessing coming in for you. Yeah, because someone's trying to be a third party. I, I, I don't even feel like this person really wants you. Or they could want you. They could have an obsession with you or whatever. And they want to be with you. But I'm getting an energy that's like, they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to be happy. So they, they keep portraying, like, you need to give to them while you're giving to your own relationship. I don't know. <clears throat> wow. So we have, yeah, it came out, marriage. Somebody's definitely getting married, confirmation on that. Someone's getting married. Or someone could already be in a marriage. Somebody could be like bothered that they're codependent on the person you're with. And they know that this marriage is gonna, yeah, now they can't steal from it no more. That's what I was just about to get to. Thank you, robbery in the reverse. Someone can't steal from you or your person anymore because this is a real solid commitment that you're going into. This is a, a solid foundation. This is going to be something that is going to be long lasting. This person could have been just used to your person having friendships or situationships or fuck buddies or whatever the fuck. But now that they want to settle down and now that they want to commit to you, now all this person has is this memories. And they're mad because they can't steal from someone no more. Or it's going to be coming out that someone tried to steal from someone. It's coming out. Someone could be trying to steal someone's partner. Yeah, look. They're trying to start some shit. What did they... <laughs> someone's like... I'm getting someone's plotting and scheming on how to start some shit to like... What? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Somebody could wear glasses. Oh, God. Okay aid in the struggle position they're mad okay so somebody's mad because they're not giving to a situation no more they feel like they can't do this like guilt trip no more they can't do this pity party no more with 
whether it was you or your person, this could be friends or ex-lover or family. Remember that. It does not have to be an ex-lover. It could be a baby mama, baby daddy. It could be family members. It could be a friendship. Flip and switch the roles as needed. Apply only where it applies, please. So somebody got used to the fact that you or your person was always there to help. All they had to do was start crying or throw a, a, a pity party or, oh, my God, I'm, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. And you were always there to help this person. Someone was always there to just be the, the, the help needed. And someone's struggling because they're not, yeah, you, you put an end to that shit. And it landed right on top of robbery in the reverse. You put an end to that shit. It's done. It's done. It's done. Someone could actually be losing their life. Or there could be a death in the family. I'm sorry to hear that. If that is what's going on, I truly apologize. I don't wish that upon nobody ever. But if somebody's trying to rob you, or they were trying to rob you of your gifts, or rob you of your money, rob you of your prosperity, your abundance, your wealth, anything that's done is, is yeah, it's done. You ain't trying to hear that shit. Skirt. Oh, Lord. You know what? Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyways. Let me, let me, uh, okay, okay, so let's get this evil eye, because I want to see, because this, 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 I feel evil eye here, somebody's petty, and they're probably sending negative energy, so I want to know what this is, <clears throat> talk to me, spirit, what do we have here? So first we have direct, direct and subliminal posts or do so on social media. This person could be talking trash. I'm hearing cyberbully. Somebody cyberbullying someone. Oh gosh. Anyways, you're probably not even paying attention to this shit, so it don't matter. So what their evil eyes is ca a causing for you? Unexplained numbness, numbness, numbness. Golly. Okay. Tingling, cold, or hot flashes. So you could be feeling any of those things. Tomorrow too is on by Glorilla and Cardi B. That's too many. But that's why I love them all. And we all look good as fuck. I don't even know I had to look up. <laughs> My fuck is up. You might wish me death tomorrow. Sing every word of up tomorrow. Shut tomorrow. You know what's up tomorrow. Great bitch, that's not my friend. Fucked on your nigga. Both you bitches pussy. I think y'all should stay here. She throwing shots. That's how I know I got her trigger. Yeah, somebody talking shit about you on social media. Lord, somebody petty. Somebody is petty betty. Yep, look, they're praying for your misfortune in order to bring about their own personal gain. You know what's funny? I just made one like this on my own deck. All of them I shuffled already. But I just made this card because I had a download when I was sitting outside making my own cards. And I had a download that told me this exact same thing. And I wrote it on one of my cards. So that's a confirmation. Yes. Whew. What their evil eye is causing for you, affecting babies or children you are connected to. So someone could use, as I said earlier, someone could be using children as a pawn. Someone's trying to keep someone's children away from them or someone's trying to use children to gain some type of aid, pity, finances. But it's not going to work because, I don't know. Anyways, hanging on your vibe. Someone's hanging on your vibe. Wearing fake smiles to keep you blinded of who they really are. They crave to be the center of attention and feel you're stepping on their toes. Didn't I say that? Somebody mad that you came in and flipped the switch. The light was off. You turned that bitch right on and you put it bright. Oops. Sorry for you. They feel their life would be easier if they were you. Somebody wants to uh, uh, life swap you. <laughs> so what their evil eye is causing for you, career challenges, obstacles, delays, and losses. Yeah, somebody could try to get someone fired at work. <clears throat> someone could be trying to like interfere with someone's work. Yeah, thank you. 
this is confirmation what I said. Someone connected to an ex. So this could be this could be your person's ex, your ex, or someone connected to an ex that you have, like their new girlfriend, their new boyfriend, or friends that both of you are connected to. Yeah. Give me a few more so I can move on. They envy your material possessions and assets. They desire what you have. Ain't that some? Yeah, look. Some of it is unintentional. It's coming from admiration. So somebody admires you. They constantly and randomly bring you up to get others to talk about you. Oh, Lord. Okay. We don't, we don't know what to tell them. Um, all right, let me get a few from here and then I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to get a couple from here just to do guess who. But, yeah. Okay, Spirit, clarify this for me. What is my collective need to know? What is my collective need to know? Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within you. So someone could be meditating more or having more compassion towards others. Maybe you're having compassion towards yourself. Bold. Unleash your adventure inside. Take risks and be daring. Thank you, spirit. Someone needs to take a risk on something. This could definitely be a career opportunity. Opening their own business. Opening their third eye. <laughs> Tapping into their gifts or just being bold and taking a power stand, like putting their power into place. Hmm. What else? What else? Baby? What else? Oh, that's too many. All right, so we have bodies of water spend time near water such as lake river or the ocean to recharge your battery so somebody needs to go sit by water oh twin flame is going crazy over you so so what did i say earlier making life changes for you letting toxicity go to move on so your twin flame could be releasing somebody yeah they're, they're, do, they're putting a death to something grim reaper yeah, Divine Masculine is reaching a turning point, making his way, God willing. So your Divine Masculine is coming. Yeah, somebody's closing cycles for you. 10, 10, someone's completing cycles. You could be completing cycles too. You could be completion of cycles. Angel number 11, 11. You could be seeing 11, 11 or 10, 10. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. So the arts, express yourself through creative activities. Yeah, there's no way around this. Someone needs to tap into their creative. <clears throat> Whether this is art, this is music, this is something creative that someone loves to do, that someone could make money off of, that someone could put onto the world, that someone could get exposure for, someone could get recognition, rewards, success. They just need to take that first leap of faith. Once you take that first leap of faith, you let the divine handle the rest. Yeah, look, devotion at the bottom of the deck. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So someone needs to put themselves out there. Hello is on by Adele. Someone could be calling someone. This could be someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Someone wants to communicate with someone. This person could be far away. They do not have to be far. Away. You could be emotionally distant from this person. But someone wants to reach out to speak. Okay, so we have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. And that light is right on top of the arts. So someone definitely needs to take a leap. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels. <laughs> And emotions. And then we have phases. Of, yeah, there's something about cycles that are closing. Someone's going towards new beginnings. Like, there's new beginnings here. As soon as they, like, release old cycles, close it down, and move towards their new beginning. Because you got cycles and rhythm here and phases and cycles here. So, there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Yeah, somebody was, I said somebody was throwing illusions at someone, but... 
Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Yeah. Life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Transcendence. Yeah, someone's transmuting. I'm sorry to say this. This might sound a little off, but if you know, you know. Someone is transmuting their, their sacral energy, their sexual energy, their passion into some type of creative endeavor. And this is going to help them thrive. If you know, you know. Anybody that's spiritually tapped in, they know what I'm talking about. Someone's doing that. Someone's putting their all into something. And it's going to help them get to the next phase of their life. This new beginning. So that's beautiful. Okay. Now let's do some guess who real quick. And now we're done. I'm wrapping this up. <clears throat> Can we deal with the earth sign? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have earth in your chart. Good read. I kind of like the way I did it this time. It was a little bit of everything from a lot of different angles. So I'm gonna try to do more readings like this. Get a variety of things out. Okay. All right. Oh. Sorry, this is a big deck right here. I think it's like at least 160 cards in this one. I mean, Let's go. Okay. Close friend of the family. Out of their league. Someone could think you're out of their league or you could feel this way about your person. Someone's very sexually attracted to you. Conscientious. Someone could be a humanitarian or someone wants to always give back. Someone could be a service to the world. Nervous. Someone's nervous around you. Aw, that's cute. You make someone nervous or someone makes you nervous. Close friend of the family. So this person you could have met through, through families. <clears throat> so we have near your employment. Someone could work near you or you guys can meet at work nonchalant same sex somebody could be a same sex couple former colleague didn't i just thank you you could have met at work just said that boy next door someone could be a neighbor someone could live near you someone could be moving near you family Orientated, risk taker. So in your building, didn't I say that? I just thank you, Spirit, because I'm on a roll. See, I knew my abilities have been on crank lately. Thank you. I just said that right before it came out. So in your building, someone's definitely lives near you or they could be moving near you. So yeah, roommate moving in with you. <laughs> you know, government assistance. Someone could be getting assistance from the government. So someone likes to take risks. Someone's a risk taker. Someone could want to go um, skydiving or bungee jumping or someone just enjoys doing stuff on the wild side. So family oriented. Someone could want to start a family with you or this person could just be very close to their family. This could be you or your person. Saw that already. So ex-wife, ex-husband. Didn't I say someone's petty ass ex could be Involved in this shit, someone just ugh, go away. And what else? Well, that's way too much. Anyway, so sees you on the regular. Someone can see you on the regular. All right, so someone's creepy ass ex is in the fucking mix because this landed right on top of this. Someone could be trying to do voodoo on someone. What the fuck? Or someone could try to like do dark magic, black magic. Someone's creepy ass funky ass dark ass ex kind of dumb shit y'all be on i'm a pessimist let me sit the fuck down somebody could have hired someone to do magic on you or your person what the dumb shit socialite someone could have a dog 
social justice. Someone could be dealing with a Libra or someone could be dealing with a court case. Someone could work for the legal system. Someone could be getting karmic justice with their finances. So, commitment phone. Someone could be scared of commitment. Someone could have always had commitment issues in the past and then they met you. Hmm. Country style. Could be a country boy. Someone could be from down south. You could be from down south or your person. You could live in the south. Or somebody could just be country style. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Good listener. Dating app. Someone could be meeting someone on a dating app or someone has used dating apps in the past. This person could be a good listener. You could be a good listener. Just a friend is at the bottom of a deck. I'm hearing that song, Mario. You say I'm just a friend. But you say I'm just a friend. But I can be your fantasy. Also, somebody want to be your fancy, but you put them in the friend zone. Or you could have put your person in the friend zone in the past. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> That's funny. Or somebody could have put you in the friend zone. And now they 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 done changed their mind. Opposite sex. So male, female relationship. Man to man, woman to woman. We got both types here. So we got same sex and opposite sex. So either way. Retail worker. Make work at a grocery store. I mean retail period. Manufacturing. Someone could work in a in a in, in manufacturing, I'm getting a warehouse or doing something like in a big building or something. Blue collar worker. And then we got hot mess. Somebody could have been dealing with somebody that was a hot mess in the past or somebody's hot mess that I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, somebody could be younger than you and they travel a lot or you could be traveling a lot. You could travel with this person when y'all get together. Somebody could want to make travel plans for you and them. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. Well, you guys, that was nice. I liked it. So, overall, I hope y'all enjoy the reading. I am going to start using these on every reading I do now because my cards be having tea. And if you see how many I have, I have plenty. So, I'm going to start using mine. And I feel like my downloads come on so much clearer, too. Because ever since Mercury Retrograde, my spiritual gifts and abilities have enhanced. They have been overload. And they've been coming in strong. So that's why I love when I'm saying stuff. And then the cards are just, you know, showing confirmation and clarity of exactly what I just said. And what I was feeling, what I was hearing. So I know that, yes. Spirit is doing their thing with me. My squad. I call them my squad. My spirit guides, my angels, and my ancestors. I call them my squad. Me and my squad are A1. So, but yes, my beautiful collective, this was your reading. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a beautiful thumbs up, please. Get these views up. Get these likes up. As I grow my channel, I appreciate all the love and the support as you watch this reading and all my readings. And I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, no matter where you may be when you view this reading. Much love, light, and blessings to you and yours. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.